All right. Welcome back to another episode of the Mullet Cast, the podcast where business and pleasure collide. I'm Evan Balmer. My name is Mike Marcia. And what's up, Mike? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Cool. Hot. Today we are joined by Jacqueline Sharp. Jackie is the owner of Purple Glaze Donuts in Asbury Park. Uh, Purple Glaze was ranked TripAdvisor's number one dessert spot in Asbury Park, a 2018 top independently owned donut shop in New Jersey by USA Today, and also made the list on Money.com, number three of top ten donut shops in America, as voted by Yelp reviewers. Check out Purple Glaze at PurpleGlazeDonuts.com, on Instagram at PurpleGlazeDonuts. What's up, Jackie? Hey, how you doing this morning? What's going on? Uh, well, it's Tuesday. It's my only day off of the week, so I thought I'd come by and uh, chat about donuts. Awesome. <laughs> we appreciate you coming in. That was good timing for us because we record the mullet cast on Tuesdays, and you happen to be off Tuesdays. Perfect. And there I'm sure as a business owner and a baker, you rarely have time off. Is that right? Uh, very little, especially in the summer. Uh, Asbury Park is getting busier and busier every day, which is great for us. And, you know, being at the beach and in a hopping town, the coolest small town in America. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's, but it's good. It's all good. That's cool. So you opened Purple Glaze in May of 2015. Uh, you're at 516 Summerfield Avenue in Asbury for anyone that hasn't been there. Um, how did Purple Glaze get started? Um, well, I'll try and make it a little shorter. Um, I'm retired <laughs> from education, um, and uh, after I retired, I was I was fortunate enough that I was re able to retire in my 50s, so um, I always wanted to go to pastry school. So I moved back down here to Asbury Park, and I enrolled in uh, Brookdale Community College as a pastry program. So I took the pastry arts degree, and my son along the way had been making donuts with his friends at their house, and he always had this donut thing, like, oh, right. donuts are going to be the new cupcake, you know, and he's always putting <laughs> a bug in my ear, you know. Right. He had a vision. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then that. he got a job working at Langosta up on the boardwalk, and he was baking. And oh, cool. so when I finished school, I said, listen, you know, I'm not ready to open something. And yeah, I got to learn how to do more production. So right. I sucked it up and took a job at Wegmans in the bakery for a year. Wow. I was like, I'm going to do this for a year. I'm going to learn everything I can. And the manager of Wegmans, he became kind of like a mentor to me. He he helped me out with a lot of stuff. I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about opening this business. Um, and one day my son came to me. He's like, hey, you know, the owner land goes to said he knows a spot in Asbury. It's next door to the tattoo shop on Summerfield. Right. And three and a half years ago, I mean, there was nothing on Summerfield Avenue. Like, mm -hmm. my friends all, later they told me they thought we were nuts. It right. was this dumpy little shop. It used to be um, Colonel's kits, kitchen, Kissing Booth, but it was their kitchen gist. Okay. So it was just 450 square feet. Um, my husband and I went and looked at it, and he loves dumpy places that he can fix up so right. we're kind of we're like okay and he's the business head and he's trying to figure out how much money we could afford to lose <laughs> 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 and uh we said okay and we you know that was like in september or october of 2014 and we opened in may 2015 wow. it was me my son i took dan who was a partner of mine in pastry school I knew he became a good friend, and I watched him, you know, every day for a year. Right. And I said to him, don't quit your – he was baking for Sickles at the time um, at night. And I said, well, don't quit your other job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Told my son. He was still up at Langosta. Don't quit your other job. Right. And we hired two other people who also had jobs, and we opened up. Wow. Nice. We were lucky. Um, NewJersey.com, right before we opened – we had been giving out free donuts all over town. With the first week, we were just making donuts and walking them all over Asbury. Right. And uh, they gave us, like, a really good review just as we were opening. So yeah. we opened with, gang like, gangbusters. And then came Memorial Day weekend. How we ended up closing on Tuesdays was the first Memorial Day. We ran out of everything. And it was like, look, let's close on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go up to Piscataway, right? <laughs> and uh, and and yeah, pick up more product, and we'll we'll keep on going. Wow. That's that's awesome. That so, is awesome. Right when you guys started, you were rocking yep, and rolling. Yep. We, nice. Yeah, I was curious because you. That's actually how I first found out about you. Oddly enough, is it wasn't from being in Asbury. It was more reading a review. Like one day, it popped up on my phone, like America's top. Uh, donut places, and I saw, wow, there's one in Asbury. So you got mad, like, crazy press right away. Yeah, and we were, you know, um, I could say we were lucky, but we, we really worked hard 
to make like a really, really good donut, you know. In the beginning, everybody was like, what else are you going to carry? What are you going to do? How are you gonna? I'm like, look, I got to make a really good donut. Mm-hmm. Like, I like plain donuts. I'm like, I want the people who want a plain donut to be able to understand it needs to be like crispy on the outside, fluffy right. on the inside. Mm-hmm. I use a real high-end oil, zero trans fats. Um, you know, I don't cheap out on anything. Right. So. There's a little bit of luck, but it's like hard work too. Right. <laughs> yeah. So how long is your was the actual um, pastry arts program? Um, it was like nine months. Right. But you were in school seven thirty till two. You know, so you were pretty much there all day. Right. And um, you know, you were, you had some um, classes that you took for, but for the most part, you were in the kitchen all mm-hmm. day, but just baking. And, wow. So. And you had a passion in your whole life. Yeah, or, I, yeah. This is something I always wanted to do. I was a single parent. Um, I was divorced with a, a child at 25 years old, and mm-hmm. that's something that I wanted to do, but it was like, I, you know, I have to make some money. So um, when I was 30, I took a job at a college so I okay. could go to school for free. And But it's something I always baked. I was always people in my neighborhood. Anywhere I lived, they were always getting all my baked goods. And so right. I was like, I had the opportunity, and I did it. That's awesome. That is cool. Um, and what is the most important thing you, you learned at Wegmans? Um, the most important thing at Wegmans was about production and that you can really do produce a lot in a small space. We have a very, very small space where we work. And there were some days you would literally get like a a rack, you know, a donut rack, uh, you know, a a cake rack. And it'd be like, okay, you need to bang out, you know, icing 200 cakes. And you had, you know, I was working on the little table table that I shared with the microwave. Oh, wow. So, yeah. you know, that you could work in small spaces. Right. And we kind of learned that at school, too. They were like, you know, the pastry area, you really don't, you don't have your own area a lot of times. Right. Um, and just work small. And it was like, they always said, you know, maximize your real estate. You're paying your rent 24-7. Right. So you don't need a big space. So mm-hmm. we have people come in, they're like, this is all you have? <laughs> right. I'm like, yeah, but we do it. Yeah. yeah. That's Clearly. a good lesson. And actually, Wegmans has a good bakery. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You know. They do. My dad's one of those guys, like the you know you know those weird old dudes that they start hanging out in like shops. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Like, Wegmans is like the he, it, Wegmans is his spot. Like he loves hanging out in Wegmans, but he's always picking up like Wegmans donuts or pastries. Yeah, they have stuff. good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So how many uh, how many people do you have working for you now? I have um, it's me. I have my son Wes. I have Dan Still, who's been okay. with me since day one. Right. Um, we have a young girl Liz from the high school that's working for us in the summer, and my husband just retired. Okay. So we do it all with that. We try to every summer we try to hire somebody from the Asbury Park High School. Okay, well, that's and, cool. And um, you know we've been fortunate with that. We've got some really good kids. Right. Um, this year we did a um, my my husband's on the school board too. Okay. So we did the first Purple Glaze scholarship this year too. Oh, no way. Nice. So, that's cool. Right. And, then, and getting the, the students out, is that something that you guys just wanted to do, or is that part of an organization? Or uh, That was part of our mission, and one of the reasons we went on Summerfield Avenue and we didn't want to go on Cookman is we wanted to be a neighborhood shop. Mm-hmm. Like, we wanted to attract people from the west side and other parts of town. So right. we have, like, a huge um, African-American and Latino population. Mm-hmm. Like, we have tenants upstairs, and when we first opened, they used to, every morning, they'd come by with their Dunkin' Donuts boxes. And, yeah. <laughs> and gradually, you know, now they come down for all their parties for donuts. You know, we'd give them donuts, and we'd kind of schmooze them. You know, one of the kids who worked for us... Um, spoke Spanish and one day you know he was talking to one of them and she, the woman was like you know we're afraid to come in because we don't speak English very well and you know he had a conversation he said right. hey you know no worries you know everybody's cool so that's, that's awesome. why we want to be a neighborhood shop yeah, I mean it's absolutely. easy in Asbury Park right now it's very very easy to do well in the summer right. I mean if you don't have if you're not killing it in the summer in Asbury you have a problem mm-hmm. seriously right. um, I want to be a 12 month you know, business. So you need the regular people. You need the neighborhood people. You need the people around the town who are right. going to walk by, have a cup of coffee, buy a donut, sit in the shop, and chat with you for forty-five minutes. I mean, sure. so they're like the love lifeblood of yeah. my business, Absolutely. and that's what we love. So. That's cool. That's that's the right way to have that. Like yeah. that outlook is perfect. Yeah. Right. So we we support yeah. the community in a lot of endeavors. We're always donating to donuts for all kinds of things. Right. So. 
And do you collaborate with other local businesses? Yep, we yeah. do. Um, we've done donuts. Uh, we do with Dark City Brewery. We have donut okay. and beer pairings. Um, there's a local girl, Holly Jolly Jams. Um, we sell her jams and jellies in the shop. She just made me a whole bunch of peach jam that we're doing, like a peach Melba donut. Nice. Um, Asbury Roastery, we sell the coffee from Allie. Okay. And then she sells my donuts on the boardwalk. Right. The hotel has been, Asbury Hotel has been wonderful to us. Um, we've done some donut and beer pairings with them. They just did a Jameson pairing. Um, they sell our donuts. And uh, so they're good. We did donuts for their movies. And so oh, we cool. try to cook them in creamery. Yeah. You know, I'm working on something with the distillery. Um, we kind of were getting it together. Then summer came. So I'm hoping that, you know, in the fall we put it together pairing right. uh, donuts with uh, different drinks. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday, I'm, so I'm looking good. my lips. There's <laughs> a lot of, yeah, we're yeah. open. We're always open to anything. That's cool. So what are some sample pairings you've done um, of donuts and drinks? Um, we did, um, the brewery recently did, um, he did one, uh, he did like the sour beer. So we'll do a donut with lemon. And right. we did one with like fruity nice. pebbles and lemon and lime. Um, for the hotel, um, they paired donuts with movies too so oh, we cool. might my son is the real one with creative names and everything like that i mean i i come up with them but he he they just pop right out of his head that's and awesome. uh, so is that wes yeah that's wesley okay. and uh he's the, also the creator of um the metal donut of the week he's a heavy music a heavy metal music right. fan and uh I was going to say, one of my favorite things on your Instagram is the names are awesome that you come up with for the donuts and the metal ones in particular. <laughs> um, so did he come up with the name Purple Glaze or was that somebody uh, that else? That was me, okay. actually. Um, I was going to, I wanted to name the shop Glazed and Confused and my that's husband. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one too. <laughs> but my attorney did a search and uh, they was a Glazed and Confused in Chicago. Is and really? she's like, hey. You know, and I said, okay, my second choice is Purple Glaze. That's and I cool. actually, the, the funny thing is that we get so many customers who come in and they start singing Purple Rain. And they're like, oh, we get it. We get it. Purple Rain. And it's like, oh, no, it's really exactly. just, it's really just Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, you're, you know? a, like, you're a little you're off. You're a little <laughs> off. <laughs> Not right. really even close, yeah. but, you know. Right. That's really funny. Yeah, so some of the names, I had a few. Another Nail in Your Coffee. That oh, was yes. a good one. Okay, yes. Um, there was a Creamsicle Motley Crawler. Oh, was, Motley Crawler. That, like that that's one. my son he um we had the <laughs> so name motley cruller like before we even started selling crullers that's cool <laughs> <laughs> he was like i want to do a motley cruller i said well we're, we're not even selling crullers yet he goes, right. we'll keep it on the back burner all right so sometimes the name comes before the the product yeah, then, yeah. Huh? we have there vulgar there was one vulgar display of powder that's a pantera song nice. uh, ride the icing <laughs> uh, metallica you i know. saw too young to fry that's yes. a good one yeah yeah that's then, great yeah and then we came up, you know, for regular donuts, we have Bacon Bad. My favorite that I named is Chime Your River. That's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. And there's I, another recent one. Uh, I can't think of what it was. It was something like uh, Cherry-O, maybe. Yes, Like yes, a Cars did. throw out. Yeah, yeah the, definitely the names are killer. Yeah. And so. you, have, you have dog treats, right? Yes, we do. We... Um, Dan and Wes, um, when we first started, like on the days when, when I wouldn't be there, I'd be running around doing errands. They would like do all this test stuff right. stuff so one day they're like um you know asbury's a big dog town we've been handing out these little milk bones let's make dog cookies i'm like nobody's gonna buy dog cookies like yeah. come on <laughs> so one day they made a batch you know yeah. they're just peanut butter a little bit of honey flour and egg you right. know totally organic and now we cannot keep them in the shop. Really? I cannot tell you. People will buy six, eight, ten bags at a time. Wow. So we're like, now we're <laughs> just constantly <laughs> making dog cookies on the side. That's really funny. And, you know, we put six in a bag. We sell them for two bucks. And we always have, whenever our doggy friends come by, we always run out with a cookie. So right. now we have this thing where people's dogs will just sit in front of the shop right. and That's they great. won't move. And the little dogs, it's okay, but we have somebody who has like a 150 pound St. Bernard and right. we have pictures of him. Messy, he'll just sit there and he won't move until he gets a cookie or a donut. Right. <laughs> so we did it right. Like we got the dogs where they're interested in the cookies. I have all kinds of pictures when the gate is down of dogs just sitting there. So whenever we're closed, I'll post a picture like that and the dogs just look in the, you know, like, awesome. oh my God, I want my cookie. But literally they'll just, they won't move. 
Wow. And I and it's funny. I could I sit outside sometimes and I see people walking their dogs and they're try to go the other way and I don't make eye contact <laughs> right. with the dog because I feel bad for them because then they pull them to the show. Mm. <laughs> Plus, you could smell the donuts, I guess, too. Right. You know, yeah. I'm I'm immune now. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's uh, what are the most unique donuts that you've made or one of your favorite? One of my favorites is I love um, the Good Caramel, which is a play on Good Caramel. Okay. And karma. Right. Um, and that's uh, chocolate icing, and we have Heath Bar, like that's all crushed up, and then we fill it with Dolce de Leche. We have really good Dolce wow. de Leche. So that's on our basic mem- menu. Right. And um, anything with bacon. Anything People with, I love, love that. you know, <laughs> don't go bacon yeah. my heart, the bacon bad, you know. We have chubby Elvis, we have skinny <laughs> Elvis. We have <laughs> so we try not to glob too much stuff on the donuts, um, right. you know, so you don't lose the, the flavor yeah. of the donut. And, uh, you know, we have the people who like the classics, the Boston cream. We have people who will come in and buy a dozen glazed right. or a dozen cinnamon and sugar. I have one guy who comes in every in the summer, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, buys four cinnamon and sugars, right. eats them in his car, and is on his way. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the morning routine. Yeah, yeah totally. So when you uh, when you guys want to experiment with something new, do you have like a food tasting or test with each yeah, other? Or? Yeah, we do. We, we we test everything out. You know, we'll have ideas. Sometimes it's it's practicality too okay you know somebody will say i'm like placing an order it's like okay what do we want to use up what do we want to go through what right. are we running low on and uh you know like my son for the metal donut will say like like last week i you know was like oh you know come up with the metal donut and um <laughs> it's like cinna cinna our math or something right. i don't know i'm sorry i don't know the band but yeah. i wanted to do something with cinnamon and sugar so yeah. um and then we we put things together and sometimes we're like eh you know, mm-hmm. and other times it's like, okay, this is good. You know, we'll take a taste of it. Um, none of us in the shop are big fans of Nutella, and everybody loves Nutella. So mm-hmm. we kind of have to, like, force it. Like, the, the metal donut this week has Nutella on it. Because yeah. whatever I put Nutella on anything, it right. sells. But I always kind of forget about it because I'm not a big Nutella fan. Sure. I'm, I'm a plain donut girl. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your favorite? Like a glazed? Just plain. Just, just plain. Oh, just really? plain. Like right off the fr- fryer that's warm with a cup of tea. That's what I like. Nice. Um, yeah. My son loves the French toast, you uh. know. Uh, Dan loves just that we do chocolate donuts. Um, he just likes a chocolate donut. So, you know, after a while, you get kind of immune right. to all this stuff. Although we do have this edible cookie dough that I don't know if we <laughs> eat more of it or uh, we sell more <laughs> of it. <laughs> Chocolate glazed. Yeah. That's that's my go-to. I probably like glazed would be my all-time yeah. Yeah. favorite, you know, for sure. And they're good when they come right off of the fryer. They're nice and warm, and, uh, you know, we have a good donut. Yep. I, so when do you when do you actually fit in the time for, like, the experimenting? Um, so, we'll do that in the morning when we come in. The, you know, we'll come in early, and, you know, you always have yeah, a good. minute or two. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> What time do you get in? Um, it depends on the day. Um, on a normal day, if I have somebody in there at 6.30 right. who could start the fryers yeah. and get the icings going because they have to melt, right. um, we could get we could have donuts out, you know, by 7.30 in the morning. Right. Some days, you know, um, in the summer awesome. holidays, I'm there, you know, 4.30 in the wow. morning. Because right. the, the one a couple weekends ago, and it wasn't even a holiday, we had 50 dozen donuts going out the door before we opened the door. Did you really? Yeah, so we were... We were cranking, right. you know, with the gate down and, uh, you know, just trying to get, get all our orders yeah. filled. With, with the, you know, such an extensive creative menu, if somebody wants to place an order, do they call or should they come by? and? They could, they could either email me okay. at Jackie at purpleglazedonuts.com or they can call the shop or they could pop in. Okay. Either way. And um, a lot of people contact me on Instagram, you know, and right. then I just either refer them to email. People will contact me on Facebook, um, you know, to ask questions and things like that. So right. I'm constantly on trying to answer questions. And, you know, certain things, some people have ideas and it takes a while to, you know, process them through exactly yeah. what they want. It's surprising how complicated yeah. people can make a donut. And yeah, so you, you'll take a random, you know, request if somebody... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I did. We did That's something great. this weekend. The, the child it was Animal Jam, I guess, a, a National Geographic show I'd right. never heard of. So we did, like, 
these colorful like penguins and owls and <laughs> cheetahs. I'm hand painting little designs on cheetah donuts. Wow. And, you know, that's cool. So you you do a lot of uh, donuts for parties or events. Yep. yep. Yeah. Well. That one there, the shark one, is that was a collabo with uh, Sweet Danny B. She'll make me cookies. That was for Shark Week. Nice. That is awesome. And we'll put she'll do like tiny cookies and we'll put them on a donut. Very this cool. looks so good. <laughs> it's <is> too early. <laughs> Jersey's Those are sweet. So, who's Sweet Danny B? Is she a local? Yeah, Sweet Danny B is on Dan um, Bangs Avenue. She's um, she does like a cookie workshop. She's a walk-in place too, and oh, cool. she's she's a, an artist, and she actually like will. Um, it's called flood work on the cookie, and mm -hmm. she'll design custom cookies for people, and she does fabulous work. Right. So you've uh, obviously there's a, a large creative class in Asbury that you've yes. tapped into as yeah. well. Do you think? Asbury's positions, like both you and Asbury in general, to to be in business year round. Oh yeah, yeah. We did um, this past winter. We were up every every month, right? Um, from the year before, like we actually had a good winter this winter. That's cool. So um, and we had crappy weather this win winter mm -hmm. too. Right. This was the first winter we actually had to close a day because of snow. Mm -hmm. A couple years ago, we were closed. I closed for a week in the winter, so I was closed when right. we had a big storm. But we had a really good winter, so I'm hoping that that carries through. That's um, good. And this summer took a while to get summer. rolling too. Yeah. Well, the nice thing with donuts is cloudy days. You're at you're at the shore on a right. cloudy day. What do you do? Eat. They the, yeah. the, the bad days don't hurt me at oh, all. Oh really? Um, the rainy days, people run. You know, you get the designated donut pickup person. <laughs> right. They Comfort put their food. rain. Yeah, they yeah. put their raincoat on, and the people will come in, and they're by dozens too, because they're bringing them home, or right. you know. So so that's nice. I've got to ask so. The, the pop-up beer donut mm -hmm. tasting. So do you bring the beer in-house and then have... They have um, the ones at the hotel. They they paired... That one was with Flying Fish Brewery. So okay. Flying Fish came in and um, they brought the beers. I knew the beers ahead of time. And then I paired the, the donuts with the beers. And it's nice at the hotel because they cool. do like a full pour. pour. They'll give yeah. you a whole bottle or can. Mm -hmm. and it was something they tried this summer, and they were pretty successful with it. Right. The last one they did, Jameson was there, too, and Jameson was giving out shots and oh, swag. Well. And, right. You know, so that was really nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that, I think that was, yeah, that was the last one, yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> do you have any of the, uh, you know, rock bands that you've ever named the name after show up? Um, my son has brought donuts, and you'd have to ask him, but he's brought donuts to the Stone Pony and places, and he's got to meet some of his favorite band guys. Right. Like, the people from the Pony will call and say, you know, so-and-so's coming, and we'll do, like, a, um, a mu we'll take their songs and pair donuts to the songs oh, and type awesome. it up. That's and cool. And Wes will bring donuts. He's done it up at Starley and Ballroom with some people, you know. Right. That's his thing with the bands. And, right. uh now, does Wes get any time on the uh, stereo system in the shop, or do you keep it, like, a little more low-key with music? Um, what, what? <laughs> Wes is firing yeah. up the nuclear they're, they're, assault they're, they're, in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yes, he is. Yes, is he is. That's a con there's a constant battle with it, you know, and some days it's busy. I'm like, okay. Just yeah. either shut it off or put something else on. You know? yeah. like so the, there's constant this constant battle from heavy metal to like let's just listen to some Beatles. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. You got a name for a Beetle donut? Uh, we never did a Beetle no. donut. I'll have to do one. That's cool. I'll have to come up with something. Yeah, my wheels are turning. Right Me now. too. Yeah. 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 Hey, to... anybody ever thinks of names? We have people, you know, give us names. You know, sometimes we can't think of a name, and I'm like, you know, customer will come in. I'm like, hey, can you right. think of anything? You know, maybe an Abiyala mode. Yeah. <laughs> Usually on Sunday mornings, you'll see when we do a chocolate special, we're like kind of all tired, and it's like, okay, let's just call it the chocolate special. When you see something and it's like the special, uh -huh. like, you know that like our creative juices have yeah. just stopped at it's that been point. A long, it's been a long week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Totally. So, your tattoo, I brought it up before. Yes. Is that from the uh, tattoo shop right next to you guys? Yes, it's from Old Glory Tattoo. They're actually my landlord. Uh, Carter Sackman just bought our building, but um, we sublease from the tattoo shop. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Johnny Ticklefingers did it. And, <laughs> I love uh, it. Did you, did you give that nickname, or was that? No, that's his nickname. Okay. That's actually, if you go on Instagram, that's, right. his, oh, that's, that's awesome. his tag. And right, I'll cool. tell you, he is good. He doesn't hurt. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, Johnny Ticklefingers. Yeah. One of so the I names. thought after we were open a few months, my, my son actually bought me this for my birthday. So Nice. nice. And what is it exactly for it's, the? It's a purple donut. Um, it's kind of like a Simpsons donut with the sprinkles on it. And right. then instead of, like, the skull and crossbones, I have, like, a, a wooden spoon and a whisk. That's cool. 
I like it. How long did it take to get done? It was like two hours. It yeah. wasn't bad. That's not bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad at That's all. That's cool. Johnny Ticklefinger. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> yeah. Has there been a Ticklefinger donut yet? Uh, no, we no. haven't done a Ticklefinger donut, but we do a lot of stuff with the, it's They're great landlords, and it's right. great to have them next door. And we have a nice little corner. We have... Uh, um, Chop Chop Bang Bang, the hairdresser, and mm-hmm. then Nails by Ginny around the corner. So right. we all, it's nice to have, you know, you've, we've made some good friends. That's and cool. You know, and they, they come in every day. Right. Now, that picture there, that's a Taste of Asbury Tours. They're another little group that started in town uh, last year. They're two teachers. And in the summer, they do food tours of Asbury Park. And um, oh, nice. Dan, who works for me, is friends with them. So we were, like, one of the first people. We were the first people who mm-hmm. said, hey, we'll be a stop. So we give donuts. They come. They do donuts. And now Pasta Vola does it. Uh, the Beer Garden does it. Mogo does it. Um, the hotel. So they stop for, like, you know, 15, 20 minutes at each place. And, you know, they'll get a beer and pretzel at, um, you know, the Beer Garden. Mm-hmm. They'll get some tacos at Mogo. Right. And, you know. They get all kinds of people coming into town, uh, bridal parties, birthdays. Wegmans actually does it with uh, their staff members, oh, really? different groups. So, yeah, it's kind of neat. Awesome. And they cool. teamed up with Pedal Cycle, and sometimes they do the, the Pedal Cycle thing. I saw one of those going around. Yeah, uh, they're cool. Oh, yeah, they were yeah. they were jamming out. I was. Uh, it looked a lot of fun. Right. Yeah. That's cool. So that's one of the nice things with Asbury because it is still a place where you could own a small business, and it's reasonable. Mm. And... Uh, so the small businesses all kind of team up and support each other. I found, you know, a lot of support. That's cool. Yeah. Such quality. Right. That's, yeah. Whether it's tacos or the pretzel from the beer garden is yeah. the best pretzel I ever had. Oh, right. me too. You know, and it's like. It's I know. Um, I know. I crave it. And it's everyone. Everyone takes, you know, it's like art. Right. You know, like your Instagram's incredible. Yeah. That's what's cool is Asbury, you know, there were a lot of things that helped the revitalization. <laughs> like obviously music's always been important to Asbury, but I think food has been a huge part. The Vasberries, you know, if you want to call it a rebirth as well. Yeah, and there's a huge vegan scene. We do vegan donuts, too. Mm-hmm. We started doing that. You know, when we first opened, if we sold a dozen vegan donuts in a week, it would be like, right. woohoo, you know? Yeah. And now we'll, we have a huge vegan do, uh, business. We have a regular vegan me- menu now, and, you know, right. I keep getting more and more product. We do vanilla and chocolate, and then we'll do some specialty ones. So, mm-hmm. And a lot of people just have kind of food things they might not be vegan but they can't drink milk or they can't have nuts or whatever right. so that's it's a cool. huge part of our business too right so it took you a long time you know you worked in education you mentioned for a long time and finally opened the business that was your passion what, was it what you expected you, you know everybody asked me that and you know what i when i think back on it i didn't really know what to expect i mean it was funny my husband and i <laughs> He actually, like, we were, he was like, well, you know, on Sundays I'll stop by and, you know, they could be making donuts and you and I could sit and do the New York Times crossword puzzle <laughs> outside. Right. Like, that has never happened <laughs> once. I, I have the Tri City News, in fact, in my shop and the coaster, and I read it more when I didn't have it right in the shop because I just don't have time. Right. So mm-hmm. um, it's a lot busier, which is good. Sure. You know, you want that. And um, the one thing that we, we did want, like I said, our mission was to become a neighborhood mm-hmm. place, mm-hmm. and it has become that. Right. So I like that, and we continue to grow, which is also good. I mean, every day I get, you know, you kind of in your mind you think, well, everybody must, everybody must know about us, right? right. Kind of, you know, yeah. Um, how could they not? And every day you get new Someone people. Knew. We have a new influx of people from Canada. Wow. We were on a, a Canadian, the Canadian Travel sh- Channel scouted us out last year and mm. they scouted out asbury because um people from canada like to come to the jersey shore in the right. summer it's like their florida trip they they i guess there a lot of people are off in august mm-hmm. so they came in and they filmed they filmed a couple of other places in town um shelter home um the wonder bar um right. they talked to the people in the city like amy quinn from city council and then they said we're like oh we're going to show it in uh in the spring you know, we'll send you the link. So we never heard anything. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, wonder what ever happened with that show. I mean, they were right. in the shop for hours. You know, it was very professional. So a couple weeks ago, uh, this woman came in, and she was French. And, we, you know, she barely spoke English, her and her family. And uh, and then she points at me. She said, I saw you. I said, hey, did you see us by any chance on Canadian TV? Right. She's like, yeah. 
couple days later, another one. And I said, you know, I can't find the link. I can't. So she gave me the link, but we couldn't open it because it was like Canadian TV. Right. So now we've had like six, seven families come in. Wow. And then the producer just sent me the link. You needed like a password. So mm -hmm. I was just at another event with Amy Quinn last night. She's deputy mayor. And she's like, the show was so good. I mean, it, they showcased Asbury Park so well. Right. Um, she's like, we got to get somebody to show it. I said, well, they showcased the Wonder Bar. Maybe we could get Deb DeLisa like in the fall when things or winter when things are slow. Mm -hmm. You know, just show it in the Wonder Bar. Sure. Yeah, it could that'd be, be cool. like kind of a fun thing. That you know? is cool. So I totally forgot. I was a Bob and Doug McKenzie fan as a kid, and apparently, uh, beer and donuts are Canadians' two favorite things. So. Oh, really? <laughs> so this oh, may okay. be like a yeah. very big market yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, when we started doing beer and donuts with Dark City, people were like, "Oh, who who's going to go to that?" And they sell out in like two minutes. Right. So. Yeah, that's a great combination. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's, hey, let's face it. People yeah. like beer and anything. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, do you have a publicist, or do you? Is it more organic, kind of word of mouth about what's going on? Yeah, we don't have a public publicist. It's right. more organic. I mean, I do when anybody asks me, like you know, like your thing. Yeah, I'll yeah. come on. Um, you know, if people say, "Hey, we want to do an article about you." You know, I'll take the time and do because there's work involved sure. in it. So you know, if people want to come in and film, and you know, we've been asked by like the some of those TV shows that, you know, where they, the, the cake wars and all that uh, stuff. Right. Well, I'm not really into that. I have mm -hmm. people in the business and I know that they're, you know, they're right. really not as they seem, but like, um, I try to promote, mm -hmm. you know, I take out ads in the local papers. I spread the love. I'll do the tri city. I'll do the coaster. I'll do, you know, right. Um, so, so far it's worked. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. Um, yeah. Do you have any like kind of people you look up to in the field? Like, if you're uh, not into Cake Wars, anyone, like, bakers? No, not really. Nah. I'm trying to think, you know. I have I follow people online that mm -hmm. I like. I like Flower Box um, Bakery. There's a girl called Smitten Kitten, like, the smaller right. the smaller ones like that. Um, you know, I, I like Martha Stewart, too. I yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> I like how she does things, you right. know, everything's neat and, and to the point, you know. I still read baking magazines. I right. read baking blogs. Um, I love to bake. I just don't have the time that I used to have to do it. Sure. Um, Actually, that would be a cool special. I think you should get Martha Stewart down and introduce that her right. to Johnny Ticklefingers. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. I, I would watch that. Yeah. that well, she good. does that show with Snoop Dogg. You uh, know? Yeah, she does. Yeah, which is true. which is a pr really a cool pair, you know. Yeah. The you know so. So after uh, after Labor Day, uh, any anything immediately in the fall that you have coming up event? -wise? I have um, ten weddings in September. Wow! Wow! Yeah, I have at least two weddings every weekend. So September has turned out to be the big big wedding month. And are you doing weddings mostly in Asbury, or are they kind of all over? I do. Um, I do. I would say the lion's share in Asbury, but I do. You know, Long Branch. There's mm -hmm. a place out in uh, Wall called Pat's Thirty Acres. It's like this park right. area i do a lot of weddings with him um but yeah i do them all over um i t i tell my clients like in the summer i won't deliver out you know i won't deliver outside the asbury park area because i just can't sure you know yeah. people have asked me like oh can you deliver to long beach island on saturday <laughs> you know on fourth of july weekend right. and it's like no, no. sorry <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna happen so you know and we're a small operation too so you know sure. my husband and i deliver you know so we do a lot at the watermark um langosta so asbury's become a huge wedding venue too you know yeah, you've got right. the beach and there's so many you know mcclune's is nice at yep. the watermark you know you could be on the beach the asbury hotel so the street art yeah you know it's great for pictures yep, yep. um do you see yourself you know con at the speed that you're growing having to expand your production or i think in the space i have i think i can do it that's where i'm at now you know thinking about what i what i should do and what i can i mean we we're like a fine oiled machine now i mean we could produce a lot mm -hmm. um next summer i just said to my husband i'm going to hire another person and um you know another uh, young person from the high school right. um because if the girl stays with me next year she's going to be going to college but um i don't know i i like my little space i like yeah. where i am i think you know, people always say, oh, do you want a franchise? You know, they're always asking. But I think the uniqueness and what makes us cool is that we're on this wacky little corner in Asbury Park. I've right. got the pull ga down gate that, you know, Pork Chop, the local artist, you I know, did yeah. for me. Um, 
And people love Wes, they love Dan, they know us, and that's what makes it cool. And then all of a sudden you franchise, you know, or you open another spot, you don't have the same people. You, right. You kind of lose control over your product and your, you know, so. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, I like I like where we're at. I right. like who we are. I like the vibe that we have. I like the neighborhood vibe. And I, I, I somehow can't picture us someplace else, right. you know. Right, You definitely have something good. So, yeah. so. <laughs> Thank you. For sure. I yeah. know I would have brought donuts, but it's Tuesday, especially for Ming, who keeps missing the... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to start calling him Mr. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Ming dropped by uh, to try to... Ming, you want to tell us about that story, actually? Uh, yeah, I was doing a piece with uh, U.S. Today in, uh, in collaboration with the Asbury Park Press. Um, we were... Uh, me and uh, reporter Alex Bice were exploring Asbury on $100 a day. And uh, Purple Glaze was one of our stops. And unfortunately, it was a Tuesday. It was your day off, and I missed out. But we still we took a photo in front of it, and uh, I think they still featured it in the article. So yeah. that's cool. We still got the plug-in. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be down there not on a Tuesday. Any other day but Tuesday. Cool. Yeah, for sure. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and that's, I mean, one thing to throw in, you know, on the vibe of it's hard to keep quality control and everything is you really – all your donuts are sort of made on demand, right? Yeah, like they're yeah. crafted right when you order yeah, we it. We make them throughout the day and we top them to order. So right. they're all blank naked donuts and whatever mm -hmm. you want on them, we make on them. And we just make small batches throughout the day. Like yesterday, I mean, we close at 2. Yesterday at 1.30, um, the food and beverage guy from the hotel texts me and he's like, I know you're closed on Tuesday. Um I need four dozen donuts. I said, okay, I'll make them right now. So right. I made them four dozen. My husband ran them over and, you know. That's he cool. had fresh donuts. He needed them for a breakfast this morning. So that's great. Yeah. So that's the beauty in it, and with the weddings and everything, everything's made that day. Yeah. Very cool. So what do you do when you're not baking donuts? What do I do? Um, I love to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. I love the boardwalk. Today, when I leave here, I'm gonna go to the beach. I have my my lunch all packed. I'm nice. ready to go, <laughs> and um, I have two dogs, so I love walking them around town. And my husband and I love to, you know, we're real locals. We like to visit all the, you know, we have our favorite restaurants that we like and right. bars that we like. And uh, so we're pretty much stay in Asbury. We do like to go to Atlantic City, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like to go down every once in a while and stay at the Borgata and, you know, do a little gambling. Right. Have some, you know, have some dinner outside of the hotels. And, you know, we travel a little bit, but we're pretty local. That's cool. Nice. Are you from... Uh, Monmouth County originally? No, I spent, I'm from uh, Dover in Ma uh, Mars County. Okay. I spent my whole life there um, till I moved down here. I finally moved down. I bought my house 12 years ago. I moved down like nine years ago. Okay. In fact, my husband, who wasn't my husband at the time, thought he was never going to get me down here because I was a total, up there, total local girl. I right. mean, born, raised. My father was mayor of the town. I lived in the same place. Wow. Worked at a co the college there for 25 years, so... Mm -hmm. So now I'm all Asbury. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, that's cool. Very cool. Um, all right, Jackie, thanks for coming by and talking hey, about Purple Glaze Donuts. Me. It was yeah. definitely a pleasure. Uh, once again, check out Purple Glaze Donuts online at purpleglazedonuts.com, on Instagram at Purple Glaze Donuts. Uh, shout out to Wes for his in, in, ingenious uh, donut naming <laughs> skills. Uh, we'll have to talk to him again sometime also. Um, Thanks again, Jackie. We appreciate you coming in. Thank wow. you so much. Thank you. I'm Evan Bomber. You can follow me on Instagram at Evan Bomber. Mike Mercia. You can find me at Mortgage Guy underscore Mike. And you can check out the Mullet Cast at the Mullet Cast on Facebook. And Mike, when are you going to see Johnny Ticklefingers? Uh, soon. He's right. on That's his on, honeymoon now. So he's on his honeymoon. Uh, yeah, he'll be back <laughs> next week. I think cool. I'll be at uh, Purple Glaze though before I hope the week so. before the weekend. Yeah, I hope for sure. So. This is this is. Yeah, I gotta get yeah and if you ever want to talk to Wes, he'll do all the metal, the whole, uh, he's had WSO, WSOU, I guess they're the big metal station sure. from, what are they, Fairly, uh, Seton, Seton Hall. Hall. They've been to the shop a number of times and done, and done you know, broadcasts and uh, bought their cool. shirts and wheels and, you know, that's that's all his thing. Sweet. Awesome. So we'll have to do a little Purple Glaze podcast sometime. Yeah, he... Uh, He's the metal guy. But thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah, like I said, I feel bad I would have brought donuts. <laughs>